Good morning, everyone. Today is December the 2nd, and it makes eight months or thereabouts that the little kratom trees have been in the ground out here. Here in South Georgia this morning, I'm at 44 when I walked out of the house a while ago with a, uh, about a 10 degrees difference because of wind chill. I've had ice on the bird bath, I don't know, about a half a dozen or more times. Had a bit of frost. And these are the roof at H here. There's four of them. And in the greenhouse, the winter always affects them. And the green malaise, which I didn't plant any of the green malaise in the yard, but they always shed their leaves before anything else does. The pink vein, the bumblebee, and the other roof fat that I have that I got as a clone, uh, a lot of times they don't shed all their leaves. And say so these out here, I could probably dig down in the weeds and find stickers for some of them but I, most of them I just don't know what they are but like this was cut back and I whenever I had some was selling some cuttings and all that was for where, where the cuttings came from was a number of these and all and you can see uh, how much they are still putting on some new growth even this late in the year and this is well over my head and uh still doing pretty good i turned all my outside water faucets off and so these haven't had any care given to them since october the 15th was the when i turned the water off and so they've had to depend on just what rain we got. We did get 4.5 tenths of an inch yesterday. So this morning now they are standing back up pretty well. You can see leaves all over the ground. And this is from the, this is a little bit of frostbite on some. And in the morning, they're talking about the first real freeze that I'm, I've had predicted for this year. Uh, we're supposed to, the last I looked was talking about 31. And if it does make it to 31 by their saying, I will probably get a little bit more here where I live. It's usually a little cooler here than it is in some other locations. So, so far, a little bit of frostbite, and for a lot of it, you know, it's, you have frostbite in one area and still have new growth coming out in others, and so... So it's going to be curious, and I will keep doing the, the other videos, and I'll ride on through, and we'll see what they, how much of them come back next spring and everything, and how far they get bit back during the winter. Uh, you can see new buds on the trunk, and no, I don't plan on mulching anything, and I do have hoops and row cover and all that that I could do but that kind of defeat my experiment in trying to just see how they do on their own and that's all it is is just the plants i had available i had planned on doing it and that's what i'm doing later on i may do an experiment where i do mulch them and cover them but for right now it's just they're on their own to do whatever they're going to do from here out with the water turned on and or turned off and uh all that i don't plan on 
doing much more than I am going to try to move the hoses and sprinklers and mow out there. But other than that, really don't plan on doing anything until about March or April, in which they were planted in April. I may do a little fertilizing or something before that, but I doubt it because of the fact that we've been having some late freezes a couple of years now. And I don't want them to encourage them to grow out too much and then have a freeze come along and kill them back. And as we've discussed in other videos, these are never have done as well as the ones out front. I have taken cuttings. These are the roof fat H up here and they haven't shed as many leaves as the ones out in the front but and then this was a pink vein here and I had taken cuttings off of some of these that some folks did want to know the names and were willing to pay to know the names so I took some cuttings and all and I'd harvested some leaves and had some tests run or by some people. I don't know. I, I saw one actual test report and it wasn't real good according to my understanding on it. I don't know. It was 0 0.06. Another one was, I was told, was 0 0.31. So, like I said, I don't understand a lot of that stuff and Oh, it works for me is the only thing is what the test I go by is what what it does for me But that's where everything is at eight months of growth And on my YouTube channel here. I have made a playlist for this procedure there's probably other videos in the, my YouTube channel of thing, you know, just a shot here or there, but the actual videos that I did of planting these in the yard and all, there was 10 of them, and this will make 11, and it's just under Kratom in the Yard is the name of the playlist, and if you care to watch all of them, you can go there and look it up and that's what's going on for me this morning I took apart a thing of horseradish yesterday and I replanted uh, five pots here and I'm leaving one of these outside we like I said we were looking for the rain so I left these setting out but I'm going to move one of the big pots and one of the small pots in the greenhouse and then leave the others out to see how they do over winter. I'd had the pilot lights running in here last night and whenever I came out earlier and turned them off it was 50 degrees and it's risen just a hair. It's about 52 right now in here and tonight I'll get a little better test on my on my heaters and with that I'll just pass it on that everyone have a blessed day take care and Merry Christmas <laughs>